joined by Harman Sindhu. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. He's the president of the uh, Right Safe Foundation. When did you start, uh, you know, spreading this message? Uh, there are so many themes that you could have picked up on, but why is it that you decided that you needed to do this? Well, it started primarily with uh, the time when I met with this road crash way back in '96, and uh, for the last nearly three years, we are working on just one theme that is against drink and driving, because if we drive after consuming drinks, uh, our perception towards speed, our perception towards wearing safety gear, like the helmet or the seat belt, that changes, and we normally tend to use mobile phone. Mm. So all kind of basic risk-taking behaviors, they change. But we always talk about enforcement and awareness of the people. If we did a survey in which people said like 90% of them already know that we should not drink and drive and 50% of them agree that we still do. Now where is the problem? The availability among the highways as per the information provided by the NHAI on a stretch of 291 kilometers on National Highway 1, there were 185 liquor shops. So that means if you're driving on national speed of 90 kilometers per hour, every one minute you come across a liquor shop. So the ministry has given an advisory to all the states to remove those liquor shops. But the states are not cooperating, they are not doing it. So this kind of uh, correlation which is there, that the ministry is sending the advisories, the states are not agreeing. And they have filed a case in the Supreme Court that they should be allowed to sell liquor along the highways. Yes. This is just an example that we are not sincere enough about this issue of road safety. If we pick up one issue at a time and we resolve that, it can have a cascading effect on the other points as well. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, we are talking right now about drunken driving as one of the issues because whatever we have uh, discussed here till now is about the city driving yes. areas. So if we uh, go into the countryside along the highways, the scenario totally changes. Completely changes and I completely agree with you. We'll discuss this point in a while, but we need to now go across